Hi, this is Attican with part two of our Grand Ages Rome campaign mission video on uh, the Battle of Lupia Revisited. And um, we left off, we'd done our um, basic build, and now we fast forwarded quite a bit. I just wanted to show you one of the tower attacks. Uh, you, you do this four different times naturally to take out your four um, enemy villages. So what you do is place a, um, an outpost close to the enemy camp get you some uh, um, building camps to speed up product or speed up your build and then fire out a bunch of um, towers close to the enemy and as your towers are, are built and your uh, troop moves close to that enemy village they will be drawn out and uh, basically what will happen is they'll come under the fire of those towers they have no chance uh, the, his attackers and defenders will come out because you're so close to him and the towers will wipe them out. You can uh, use your Hastati to fight a little bit if you want to. Be careful. To, you don't want to lose it. If you do, you're going to have to uh, redraft one and, you, and um, you know, they may have rebuild their defenses in the time it takes you to get back there. So, plus, you never want to lose a squad. That's just uh, uh, horrible to lose a squad in one of these missions. So anyway... Um, yeah, fight when you can, get a little experience, but don't overdo it. Let the towers do the work. And you can see right here, they're going to wipe this guy out in a hurry. And he's got troops chasing me, and they didn't even do any damage because all they did was chase my guy and got wiped out by the towers as they passed by. So, um, and I'm going to attack this one, and I don't think I even get to him because he's going to be wiped out before I get there or right as I'm arriving. Yeah, we do get to fight a little bit. So uh, basically you just um, move your um, Hastati into the uh, village and take it. And then uh, if you're short on stone, you delete those towers because you don't need them anymore. But that's where you have to be careful. That's the one thing you got to watch out on this one. When you delete the towers, every time you delete one, you lose five popularity points. Your popularity gets down to zero. You start a riot. Uh, the rioters start lighting fire to your buildings. You get a bunch of buildings built, um, or a bunch of buildings on fire. And uh, one disadvantage to how I like to build all those insulae so close together is that once that fire starts, wow, hard to put it out. And remember, we don't have prefectures in uh, this particular one because we're uh, not allowing ourselves to build a forum. So um, fire is a bad thing. And so what you want, the only way that um, I could think of to get my popularity back up because I can't even do uh, those um, uh, ceremonies at the um, temples without without the forum. So the only thing I could think to do is build some more insulate, put them close together and build my popularity back up that way. So you can see I'm delete, trying to delete these carefully and leave myself enough popularity, but I actually goof this one up even though I'm thinking about it. And you'll, you'll notice I don't build enough houses. You're only getting, with a character with no talent, I'm only getting two popularity for each insulate I place. And um, the towers are costing me five apiece and I only build well, you can see here, but I don't. I only build a few insulae. I do not get my um, popularity up high enough, and sure enough, I start another riot. And what what happens is that extra community I built off in the distance. You may have noticed that um, I did that for the same purpose to get my popularity back one other time, and sure enough, that one burned down basically to the ground. I mean, almost it was almost obliterated uh, by the time I got up there to deal with it because of a riot that happened up there. I couldn't move troops up there to stop the riot, and I, um, um, you know, I was busy with other things, and it, and it also at this point, is this is why I love this mission. There's so much going on. I'm getting attacked by some some hordes at this uh, soon after this so I kind of get distracted but watch here I'll see I'm at 19 percent I should have been at 21 and I delete those four towers and sure enough I go down to zero and whoops I'm in trouble so um, um, there it's hit zero and and sure enough I'm going to have a riot in one of my communities but uh, um, that notwithstanding, uh, the, the, the basic approach still works. You just have to kind of build, do some extra building to get your popularity back up or do whatever you need to do to get your popularity up. Um, without entertainment, it's hard to keep it up there because, um, you know, uh, with your low entertainment, your your popularity rises so slowly that uh, 
you know, you just uh, uh, you just have to build really to get popularity back up. But at any rate, uh, so th so basically, following this, if you're going to try this insane approach, uh, where you don't have any uh, forum, you don't have any. Uh, additional troops and you got all these giant armies coming at you, uh, I'd advise you to uh, build a lot of insulae and get your popularity that way. And I do apologize for these grossly ugly uh, just conglomerations of towers, but I just want to get them in a choke point. I want them close together. The one little fort I built down there looked kind of nice, and uh, maybe I'll try this one again sometime and try to build it with more sane looking um, uh, forts and less deletions. I've certainly done um, versions of it. Uh, with regular troops, where I've had uh, forts that actually look like forts, so maybe I'll try to, you know, build <laughs> build something that looks decent and, and that I actually hang on to instead of doing so much deletion. But at any rate, you get the idea. You build close to the um, uh, barbarian village. You um, you set up towers. You lure him out. You let the towers do their thing. Then you go in and clean up. Hope you enjoyed this, and I hope it helps you.